Would you want to walk with Jesus? I commend you. It is a worthy journey you seek to undertake. But you know, it is ancient wisdom that two cannot walk together except they are in agreement. As you begin your walk with Jesus, do you fully agree with God's word about who Jesus is and what he has done for you? Here, come find out for yourself through this story. power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. That was a good film. Yes, it was. The true story of Jesus. What did you think of what you've just seen, Chief? That man, Jesus. I would like to know more about him. They punished him and killed him. He died for all of us. He died for our sins. If you believe in him, with all your heart, right now, you too will be saved. I understand. Chief, do you want to accept Jesus? Yes. What must I do? Let's pray together. Repeat after me. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Mm -hmm. Why do you look so worried? How was the film show? Did you see the film? Yes, of course I did. What is it? Why do you look so worried? You know, it was one of the most amazing films I've ever seen. It was about this man they called Jesus. They nailed him to the cross. What a terrible way to die. And you know, on the third day, he rose again. And in front of his followers, 
he rose up into the clouds and into the heavens. Yeah, we all saw it yesterday. And teacher said that this man died for us all. That's true. Teacher also said that you will show the film again. Please take the food away. Why? I just don't feel like eating. It's your favorite. I know. But just leave me the water. The teacher said this man, Jesus, came to the world and died for all of us. This is amazing, very amazing. The way he was mercilessly beaten, how he was stripped naked, how he carried the cross and lied on his back as he was being nailed to the cross. What a cruel way to die. And when the film was over, I could not resist. Something was pulling on my heart. I wanted to accept him too. I felt some tears streaming down my cheeks. It's a very long time since I shed tears. That man, Jesus. But I have done so many wrong things. Can all these terrible things be forgiven? Chief. The chief is not even visiting us today. What did you expect? I have done so much evil things. You woman, why did you steal my mess from my shop? This, 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 mana! Come on! Break it! Push it down! Let's go!
I have done so much evil things. I must see the teacher. The what? The what? Yes, Chief. I want you to go and call the teacher. Ask him to come and see me. Okay. Come on, hurry up. Come sit down. I need to talk to you. Thank you. You look troubled, Chief. How can I help? Yesterday, after the film, I was so touched that I decided to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. That's the best decision you'll ever take. But I have so many questions in my heart. What, G? Thank you. I am still worried. Teacher, am I truly forgiven and accepted by God? The truth is, Chief, because you have done what the Word of God says, then, according to the Word of God, you have been truly saved. Chief, the Word of God says, in Acts chapter 16, verse 31, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Yesterday night, after the film show, I explained some things to you about Jesus Christ. Didn't you say then that you now believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes, I did. I did. And another word of God says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. I did that too yesterday night. After you had finished talking to me, before you prayed for me, I confessed Jesus as my Lord. That's it. What? If you believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God, sent by God to give his life for the forgiveness of your sins, then you are saved. I still find it very difficult to believe that God has accepted me and forgiven me for all my sins simply just by trusting him without doing anything else. Teacher, I have done some very bad things. Exactly. There's nothing more to do, Chief. Jesus has paid the entire price for your sins by dying for you on the cross. And God has forgiven you all your sins and has now received you with open arms. I understand. Now I understand. God has accepted me. And God has forgiven me for all my sins. Teacher, you must show that film again tonight. I want some of the village elders to see it. I will try to bring some of them. My sisters. Hello, <laughs> this is Adion, Chief's younger wife. Yes. You were at the film show yesterday evening. Yes. But you didn't come up to accept Jesus. I didn't. I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of what Chief would say. But Chief himself accepted Jesus. Yes, I know. 
I heard you tell him that you're going to show the film this evening. Yes, he said he would come with some village elders. In fact, he has gone out to see some of them. I want to accept Jesus too. Oh. Ah. You don't have to wait until this evening. You can accept him right now. Uh, I have a question, teacher. Please ask. We have had your conversation between you and Chief. Oh, really? Yes, we were in the kitchen and overheard everything. And what did you think about our conversation? You know, when I accepted Jesus and the Holy Spirit into my life after the show... Yes. You say he's now living in me? Yes. <laughs> but I can't see him. You know, with the gods of our fathers, we know the shrines, we can see them. But this Jesus... <laughs> Listen. A disciple called Thomas had exactly the same problem. He just couldn't believe that Jesus was alive after being dead for three days. He wanted to touch the nail marks on his hand to be sure. After a few days, Jesus appeared to him and said, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are they who have not seen and have believed. What does that mean? We believe, but we have not seen. You see, the shrines of the gods of our fathers are nothing but powerless images with evil forces behind them. They pretend to help people, but often attack them in very severe ways. So, people who go to idols for help end up suffering even more. Jesus says, in John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Jesus is real and alive, living in us. Don't forget, even the disciples didn't believe that at first. I now understand. I believe too. He is alive in us. The Word of God says, if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and confess him with your mouth, you will be saved. You must believe that. And in the book of John, chapter 10, verses 27 and 28, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me, so they will never be lost, and no one can snatch them from my hand. And it says again that he gave us eternal life, and that this life came to us from his Son. And so, if we have God's Son, we have eternal life. If we don't have the Son, we don't have eternal life. You mean I now have eternal life? If you truly repent from your sins and forsake them and accept Jesus Christ now, you will have eternal life. You don't have to wait until this evening. I will accept him now. That's wonderful. And when you accept him, he's always with you. He never leaves you. You become a child of God, a new person. You will have eternal life. Yes a new person. In 2 Corinthians it says, Therefore, anyone who is in Christ becomes a new creature. Old things have passed away. All things become new. Pray for me. I will accept him. But can I still come out this evening? I want to sing with the people who will come out. Yes, of course but you don't have to receive Christ again. Let's pray. Say after me. Okay. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I want to know you personally. I want to know you Jesus, too. son of David, have mercy on me. That is the message I wanted to bring today. Don't let anybody prevent you At school, talk about Jesus. Mama 
kubwa mama mdogo when you go meet the other ladies talk about jesus the other members of my family here in this house you talk about jesus talk about jesus in the kitchen when you are cooking then the food will be tasty talk about jesus when you go and bring water then the journey will be light on the farm today. Thanks, Chief. The day was very, very good. You can see what I brought from the garden. Mm, very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Please greet your husband for me. I will, Chief. Today, the Chief has greeted us. <laughs> Did you notice something? The Chief has really, really changed. <laughs> he even had a smile for us today. This man was known to be bad, and everybody feared him in this village. He went to the film show, and he was seen talking to the teacher so much. And now he's a follower of Jesus Christ. The chief has really changed. <laughs> My husband said that the film will be shown again this evening. And he said that he's going to see it again. Today? Yes, today. We are serving a living God. It is said, trust is the water pot that holds friendships. When it breaks, friendships scatter. Think about what would happen if you walked with someone you did not fully trust. For instance, did you notice how troubled Chief was when he doubted that God had forgiven him all his sins? Thank God right now for the blessings you have as you walk with Jesus. Thanking God shows you trust him. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come.